We can see you. In the name of the Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Morning. The word of God is one thing. Having a good knowledge of the word of God is one thing. To put what we know about God through our daily reading of the word of God is entirely another thing. Please please turn to our Psalm 91. Psalm 91 is uh, one of the uh, favorite psalm for many. I know of Christians who know Psalm 91 by heart. We just have to uh, mention Psalm 91. They can uh, say it without opening their Bible. Will you please turn to uh, Psalm 91, verse uh, 11. For he will command his angels concerning you. To guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. A beautiful promise. A beautiful promise. The topic for today's uh, reflection is knowledge about the Word of God alone is not enough. Here the psalmist writes, For he will command his angels concerning you. In uh, Matthew chapter 4, you can also read this in uh, Luke chapter 4. The temptation of uh, Jesus. Jesus was tempted. Verse, uh, verse 5. Matthew chapter 4, verse 5. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down. So now, the devil had failed to tempt Jesus once. Jesus had defeated the temptation that was brought to him by the tempter. The tempter did not give up. He took Jesus to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple and see the words that the tempter used to tempt Jesus. Well, I continue. For it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. The devil knew. Psalm 91 by heart. He took Jesus to the highest point of the temple and he used Psalm 91. Psalm 91 
verses 11 and 12 to tempt Jesus. The point that I'm trying to make here is we must not assume that only we know the Word of God. Even our adversary, the devil, knows the Word of God. It is not just, uh, it is not only Christians who know the Word of God. There are also non Christians who know the Word of God. So if uh, we assume that knowing the Word of God is uh, good enough, Attending church services and listen to, listening to sermons is good enough. Attending Bible studies is good enough. Reading the Word of God daily is good enough. Or even uh, attending a seminary or some uh, Bible colleges is good enough. Then I can assure you, You are wrong. Because uh, the Bible is very clear. Knowing the word of God alone is not enough. As Christians, we must uh, keep the word of God. This is fair when we read the word of God daily. We must allow God the Holy Spirit to search our hearts. And to uh, bring to light if there are any wicked ways in us. When we use the word of God as a mirror, and when we diligently seek the face of God, God will use His word to bring to, to bring to light some of the wicked things that may be hidden in our lives or things that we may assume it's okay. What? The Word of God. We must uh, obey the Word of God, submit our lives and allow God the Holy Spirit to cleanse us from all our sins. And two, we must do what the Word of God tells us to do. Doing can be a great challenge. But as Christians, we have got no choice but to put into practice what we uh, know about God through the Holy Scripture. Will you please turn to uh, Matthew chapter 7. I've always liked uh, this uh, verses. It's the conclusion on the Sermon on the Mount by Jesus. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he, only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Very interesting. God just makes it very clear. Not everyone who calls Lord, Lord will enter in the kingdom of heaven. Only. Just makes it very clear, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. So this is uh, what the Bible tells us. That uh, we must uh, study the Word of God diligently. As we study the Word of God, we must submit our lives totally. We must submit every area of our lives to the authority of God the Holy Spirit. Every area we must sub submit to His authority. 
and that we must obey His word. It is only when we obey the word of God, if it is only when we walk in the light of God, it is only when we live our lives in accordance with the word of God, can we rise and shine for Christ? Will our lives bring, will be pleasing the sight of God? Knowing alone is not enough. The devil quoted the word of God. The devil quoted Psalm 91, verses 11 and 12 when he tempted her, Jesus. So, my dear friends, let me encourage you to read the Word of God and to seek the guidance of God the Holy Spirit, the strength of God the Holy Spirit, to live by the Word of God, to do what the Word of God tells you and me to do. Then, we will truly be salt and light in this world. God bless you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.